Now I know what you're thinking. But Mark, you never played the third man from the window. I know. I always assumed it was a scary game and was too hard for me. But today, I'm actually gonna face my fears. And we're gonna go straight into this game knowing nothing at all. Like, I'm gonna look at the controls at least. Okay, these things are a lot of words. Let's just get straight into it. So there's a normal mode where you're given a notepad to help keep track of things. And there's a tough mode where apparently you don't get that. This is what I mean. The game is so complicated. It literally gives you a notepad. Whoa. We're already starting? Who, who the heck? Whose mama is that? Hey, Junior. Who is this? Hey, Ma. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I had a few minutes left to spare before my break's over. So I figured I'd give you two a call just to check in, you know? Oh, thank you, hun. We're both fine over here. I don't know why they talk like that. I didn't make it up. It's just how it's written. If you look... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're... I found a few extra dollars in my purse, so we ordered some takeout. Shouldn't take too much longer to get here, I'd reckon. I wonder what they ordered. Also, how come I only just realized that these are talking bunnies or rabbits or both? Uh, for some reason, it didn't register in my mind until right this second. Awesome, awesome. Y'all too enjoy. So he says two. Who else is here? I better get him off this phone and get back to work then. We've got a bunch of stuff to move out of here tonight, and it's my turn to drive forklift. Hello, Missy. I said hello, would you? Well do, hun. Thanks, Ma. We'll talk later. All right, so that's his mom. I asked a minute ago whose mama this was. It's his mom. And there's uh, a little Missy. Who, who's little Missy? Audrey. Audrey's little Missy. See, maybe I'm not too dumb for this game. I'm actually highly intelligent. So this right here is Audrey. Yeah, Grandma. Your papa said... Wait a second. Uh, so that's the, the junior skid. Okay. He's still at work? Yep. He called during his break. Now, did you finish that homework of yours yet? Yeah, I did, Grandma. Good. That's what I like to hear. Hold on. Now, that can't be the man from the window. You know how I know that? Because that knock definitely sounded like it came from the door. Now, if this game was called The Man from the Door, I'd be super scared right now. But it's not, so I'm cooling. Oh, that's probably the food. I'll get it. Oh, yeah, that's correct. They ordered some takeout, so it's probably going to be the food. We're about to see which food they ordered. Hmm... Could have sworn I heard someone out here knock. Didn't you, Audrey? We definitely heard all of that, Mama Rabbit. What could it be? <gasps> oh, my stars. Here we go again. Yeah, this happened before in the previous game. That I didn't play. The man? Uh-huh. Mama Rabbit's face looks super not impressed at all. She does not care. She's not scared at all. She's been through this before. He sure is annoying, ain't he? Isn't he, hun? I don't want you speaking messed up English like grandma does. Wait, did I actually get the accents right? That's actually what they sound like, isn't it? But yeah, he is. Okay, so we got a book that says the man from the window. Now, what's written in this book? We're gonna go through the book together this time, okay? And I want you to pay close attention, Audrey. Your papa and I ain't always gonna be here. So you need to know how to do this for yourself. I think that's a foreshadowing about man from the window 3. I call it right now. I understand, Grandma. I think. Oh, we're actually gonna read the book? Looks like it's some kind of bedtime story. Oh, actually, it's poetry. Time will pass. The seasons may change. We know that nothing can ever stay the same. But still, the man continues to play his twisted game. For the simplest of requests is all he's ever wanted. In his unending search, these dark streets he has haunted. Once night falls, you'll know he's on the prowl. Keep far away, else you'll meet a fate that is assuredly most foul. Yo, whoever wrote these lyrics shouldn't quit his day job because this is whack and it's super corny. Let's keep it going. A faint tapping at one's window has always been his herald. To spend these next five minutes wisely for you may find yourself suddenly imperiled. Is that a threat? Now proceed with caution and proceed with haste for the man has learned. 
that there's no time to waste. The rest of the pages have been torn out. Wait, we don't even get the whole story? Oh, I'm controlling the game. Audrey, I need you to listen up. What's the first thing we're supposed to do when this happens? This is important, Audrey. I know you know this, hun. The pages? We gotta put the pages back in the book before we hide. Because the man got angry and tore them out. That's right. So that thing they were saying about the five minutes in the book, th those five minutes are real? Okay, we're supposed to find pages. I already found one page right here. Uh, how many pages do we even need? I just burped. I'm not sure if you guys heard it. There's still pages left to put back in here. Okay, so there's... Oh, there's another page right here. Um, There's probably a page in here, isn't it? Oh, it's almost 8 p.m. Oh, so when it's 8 p.m.? Oh, my God. That's how I know he's going to go into the house. Congratulations on your retirement after 38 years of faithful service for Mama Rabbit. Good job. Oh, my God. Oh my. Whoa! 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 Mama Rabbit, what are you doing walking around with all that uh, stuff? There's still some pages left to put back in. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna keep looking up. Okay, so we definitely still don't have all the pages. What's out here? Oh, could this be the last and final page that we need? I really hope so, because those five minutes are starting to go. Is that it? What? Where the heck could I. Oh, I can crouch. Can I open it? We only have four minutes left. You've got to be kidding me. There's nothing in the fridge. Is there anything behind this door? Nothing in here. Was this? This is from... Oh! Yo, I can go to the... I can leave the apartment? Oh. Can, can I go down here? What's down here? Oh, another page. Ooh. It's dark out here. Let's go back inside. Hurry. Well, technically, we're still inside, but you know what I mean. I think these are the final pages. Oh, they are. So do I read these now? Not finding a friend is an outcome the man won't accept. He will next look where the unclean clothes are kept. Smiling ear to ear, the man's always showing his teeth. The next place he'll check is the sink with a cabinet underneath. It's telling me where he's gonna be looking. Completely focused, the man's demeanor is skating. He will now search the place reserved for baiting. Finding a friend is a priority for the man and nothing could be dearer. Next he will check the place under the mirror. In his quest for a friend, the man never grows bored. Soon he will look in the place where food is stored. All these years the man has searched his quest he never forsook. <laughs> forsook? I don't know what that word is. I've never heard of it before. The empty room is where he will next look. So it's literally telling me where he's going to be looking. How do I... Is the timer still going? It is. So what are we supposed to do then? Yeah, Grandma. Oh, 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 what? He can follow me? Wait, is this a notebook they were talking about? Okay, uh, Audrey, follow me. We're, we're getting out of here. The book is telling me where the man from the window is going to be looking. Food? Food, empty room. Oh, wait. We got to go. He's going to look at the laundry room. So where is he not going to be looking? Uh-oh. Is there anything back here I can hide? Is this TV right here? Yeah, Grandma. Wait. Can I make him hide in here? Stay here? Oh. No, no, actually, actually, you can, you can, you can follow me. You can follow. Whoa, we're wasting a lot of time. Oh, no, the timer is still going. Where the heck is that man from the window? I'm not going to be searching. Is that, is that like, can he hide under the bed? Oh, <gasps> can I hide Audrey under the bed? Yo, I don't think it said anything about the bed, right? Am I supposed to be finding my own hiding spot? Hold on, Audrey. That's my hiding spot. Go find your own. Oh, no, this is not good. Uh, where the heck am I going to be? Can I hide under this bed? No, I'm too big to be hiding in beds. It's our clothes hamper. Oh, nope, 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 nope. We're not hiding in there. Is there anything back here? I mean, I suppose. Is the hall closet? It, I'd definitely be able to hide in here. Okay, we're gonna hide in there. Whew, that was close. What's this? It was exactly 8 p.m. when the man approached the entrance door. Is this the man from the window? But he's coming through the front door! He should be called the man from the door! This makes no flipping sense! And though he only had five minutes to accomplish his goals that night, this time, the man was ready. Are we? Oh, whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa why is he... <gasps> And since the blinds had been left open, he knew exactly where to look. You're kidding me! What does that mean? Does it... No, 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 Audrey! The man looked under the bed. And then he finally found his new friend. 
Yo, no way. It's called the man from the window, and I forgot all about the windows. The time was exactly midnight when Junior received an unexpected call from home. On the other side of the phone, he emitted a series of distorted and indescribable. Dead word sounds. And after a few moments, the line went dead. Knowing full well that something was amiss, Junior immediately rushed home. What would he find upon his return? Well, I can tell you, he's not gonna find Audrey or uh, Aubrey, whatever their name was, because they got took by the man from the window. I mean, I actually failed. There's no flipping way. I forgot about the windows. Okay, let's try that again, but this time. We're gonna remember to close the blinds. Okay, so we have to find all the flipping pages again. This time we know where the pages are. Unless it gets randomized. Does it get randomized? Uh, I don't remember where I found the pages last time, but let's hurry up. Uh, we're on a timer here. Where is that last page? It's probably like literally right under my nose, isn't it? Did we forget to pick up any of the nodes down here? I don't think so. Anything over here? Nope. We got the note that was over there. Of course, my first try, I find every single page. And now on my second try, I actually have to scramble to find all the pages. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Oh, what a cheeky little page. It was right under the flipping TV cabinet. I didn't even know it was possible. Anyways, we know exactly where we're supposed to hide. So, don't hide in the place under the mirror. Uh, don't look where the unclean clothes are kept. Uh, don't look in the bathtub. Don't hide where boxes are put. And do not... You will next check under the place where you sleep. Don't hide under a bed. That's where I hit Aubrey or Audrey last time. Also, the blinds. No flipping way. I forgot about the blinds. Oh, we don't have a lot of time. Follow me, Audrey. Okay, let's close all the blinds. Okay, all of them. All of them. We have to close every single one of the blinds. Okay, that one is closed. That one is closed. Okay, everything is closed. Okay, wait a second. Uh, so we can't hide Audrey under the bed. Can he hide in here? It's a TV stand. It didn't say anything about the TV stand. I think this might be the better hiding spot. Okay, so we would have filled regardless. Uh, we only have three more minutes. So he will check under a bed. He will check under the sink. He will check in the bathtub. He will check where the boxes are put. He will look where the unclean clothes are kept. And he will check under the mirror. Where the heck am I supposed to flip and hide? Okay, so this is where the boxes are kept. I can't hide in there. Can't hide under a bed either. What's this? Can I hide in here? It's our old wash tub. It's... No, no, no. Don't hide in the wash tub. It says something about unclean clothes. Can't hide in the empty room either. It's a bathroom sink. Me hiding under there wouldn't work. Oh, no. This is bad. I literally don't know any flipping place for us to hide in. Uh, oh, my God. Mama bear. Mama rabbit. Why do you got, got to be so big? Wait a second. No. The clothes hamper. That's where we, that's where we store our clothes. Which means... Can I hide in here? I think so. You don't store your dirty clothes in the old washing tub, right? It's where you wash the clothes and you put them in that hamper. I hope. Okay, so it was exactly 8 p.m. when the man approached the entrance door. And though he only had five minutes to accomplish his goals that night, this time the man was ready. Oh, oh, I forgot how fast... I forgot how fast he was. Jeez, knock first. Okay, so the blinds were closed this time. Yo. Yo, you can see, like, the lower part of his body. That's so creepy. The man looked under the bathroom sink. Okay. No, we didn't hide under there. That's good. That would have been a terrible hiding spot, by the way. There's literally nothing... You're not even hidden. It's literally not even a hiding spot. It's just a spot. But he found nothing. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh. <gasps> the man looked inside the clothes hamper. And there's nothing... But he found nothing, okay? Let's hope we picked the perfect spot. See, the man looked into the bathtub. Ooh, we're so lucky we didn't hide in there. But he found nothing. <gasps> okay, and the room with the boxes. Oh my god. The man looked inside the kitchen closet. Empty. It's just boxes. He still hasn't looked at the TV. Okay, this is where we hid the first time. Would have lost anyways. 
Oh, wait, where's he going now? Okay, so under the sink. The man looked inside the sink cabinet. Nothing. We good. We good. The time was now 8.02 p.m. And though he still had plenty of time left, the man had run out of places to search. So as quickly as he arrived, he left. There's no way. We actually hid from the man from the window? There's no way. Okay, close the door. Close the door. Come on, before he comes back. Yo, that was actually pretty creepy. Yeah, and stay gone this time. Don't even just run in here and mess with grandma and me. Okay, so mama bear is the grandma. Now it makes sense. Because I'll... No way. Is he back? <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Should we really... Uh, oh! Audrey, honey, you don't need to be scared. It's just the takeout we ordered. Now, how awkward would it have been if the takeout arrived while the man from the window was searching for us? Like, what would have happened if that was the case? We open the door and eat our food? Because honestly, that'd be even more terrifying than getting found. Because then you'd be starving. What am I going to do with that, child? No way. It took us two tries, but we actually beat the game. We even got a star. Whatever that may mean. Yo, if you're excited for the man from the window part three, smash that like button right now. And check out this other video.